Right now, a tense back and forth between two of the most influential people in the city. Chicago's mayor wants the head of Chicago's public schools out. But Pedro Martinez says he is committed to the job and isn't going anywhere. So what is their beef and what started all this? Our Jermont Terry is live looking for answers tonight. Jermont. Joe and Erica, the mayor says leave, but the CPS CEO Martinez says he isn't going anywhere. And now what was an internal battle between the two is clearly public, leaving some aldermen the question if this is really just a political move. The CEO of Chicago Public Schools is the headline. Mayor Brandon Johnson wants Pedro Martinez to step aside. He asked them to resign uh, and CEO Martinez declined to resign. So if they want to replace him, they will have to terminate him and that could potentially get messy. Second Ward Alderman Brian Hopkins believes the move by the mayor is a dangerous one. Uh, this constitutes mayoral interference in my opinion. There were rumbles for months. Johnson and Martinez were not seen eye to eye. Now it's out. The call for Martinez's resignation comes while the Chicago Teachers Union is in the middle of contract negotiations with CPS. Teachers want a hefty pay increase. The CTU was a key financial supporter in Mayor Johnson's campaign and win. He said he would not interfere in the collective bargaining process on behalf of the Chicago Teachers Union. He seems to be breaking that promise right now, and that's a cause for concern. Friday night, the Latino Caucus Foundation held this annual gala, missing from the stage, Mayor Johnson and Martinez, despite confirming they would attend. Maybe he didn't want to you know, face the media about the questions you guys were going to pose. Their contentious relationship is now very public, leaving Alderman to say this is political. Especially during Hispanic Heritage Month, where you would take the president of CPS, who happens to be a Latino, and, and talk about replacing him when the children, the parents, and quite frankly, the principals, the staff are all um, excited about the trajectory that the CPS is going in right now. While the mayor isn't talking, Martinez did send a letter to CPS staff and supporters saying in part, me and my leadership team are 100 percent focused on building the positive momentum of the school year, adding we will continue to lead with integrity and transparency in the service of our students. Now, the mayor could ask the school board to, to take up a vote to try to terminate Mr. Martinez. There's no indication that the school board will even do that. We should point out that Martinez was appointed by former Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Live outside CPS headquarters tonight, I'm Jermont Terry, CBS News, Chicago. Joe oh. and Erica. All right, Jermont, thank you.